I'm Cy Ball. You've just watched me controlling a simple BCB rack patch using my Android pad with the Touch OSC app. I have used the same app and layout successfully on my Android phone. Touch OSC is an app that works on Android phones and tablets and on iPhones and iPads. It is available from both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store for about $5. To run Touch OSC with BCB Rack or with your DAW, you will need to download Touch OSC Bridge from Hexler.net. To create your own layouts and modify existing layouts, download the Touch OSC Editor, which runs on Mac, Windows, and Linux. There is documentation also on that site. Touch OSC Bridge is available for Macs and Windows. It's also available from a third party for Linux. Haven't tried it, it might work. My layout called 1B BCV, it can be downloaded from a shared Dropbox. All these links are listed in the description below. This is the Touch OSC editor for creating and modifying layouts. I am showing the layout which I created to use with BCV Rack. On the first page, the fader page we have faders and if we click on that we see it's a multi fader meaning we could specify the number one we that we want we can stretch it any which way uh, very cool and we go to the MIDI tab on the editor and click a value that we want on the enabled drop down you click make sure that it is enabled you make sure that it's a control change. The channel you want, in my case one, the CC you want, in my case 21, and a range of 0 to 127 in values. And then you can just use the drop down to pick the next one, going from left to right here. Very simple. That's all you really need to do. Of course, you want to align things, you can use the XY, all that. You can drag also. Uh, on the buttons, very similar. This is a, a range of push buttons. This is a range of toggle buttons. You pick a value you want. You pick the channel number, and the range really doesn't uh, do much for you. On the dial page, I also uh, included the very same buttons. All I did was copy and paste from the other page. It retains the values I have assigned, so these work exactly like the ones on the other page. I don't have to switch back and forth when I want to push buttons. There are ways to select these and align them so they line up like this. There is no multiple dial control. On this final page, it's kind of a fun thing I just did. A little piano keyboard, as you can see, uh, we'll be able to set velocity and octave in BCV rack. And on these keys, instead of control change, you, you, you select note. Now, there are several layouts that come with Touch OSC. You can use or modify them as you wish. I used Automat 5 and Simple before deciding to make my own. Now that we know a little bit about Touch OSC, we have watched the demo and we have looked at the editor and the layouts. It's time to learn how to put it together with BCB Rack. It's really very simple. First thing we do is get the MIDI mapper. nice then we have to hook this first to our MIDI provider in my case is Windows MIDI then to a device I have already run touch OSC bridge so it's available here then if you need to assign a specific channel you would use the third input here we don't need to do that I'll just use all channels then you just click the unmapped line and it says mapping first thing i like to do with clocked on board is to map the reset and run buttons so i'll do the reset button here 
first click push then the reset button then I'll click the next button and click run it's working okay so that's all working now we get our volume on the mixer I'll touch the fader click the volume dial very nice I'd like also to control the volume on the two channels I'm using right now so I'll click another fader click this fader And I'd like to do the volume on the second channel as well. As you can see, everything so far is working. Now I'd like to point out that if you get a control you don't want, for instance, there's one right here, all you'd have to do is right click on it and it'll go away. If you want to stop mapping, click a blank space at VCB and it goes away. Really, most of what you need to know about many map are those clicks. So let's do a few more just so you understand what's going on. Um, I like to have the mute buttons available on my mixer. So let's start mapping again. Click here. Touch another push button and touch the mute control here. Touch another button, touch the new control here, and they're working very well. Let's see, just a couple of more controls to watch it working. Let's try the attack on this ADSR. Let's use the dials page okay so I'm gonna touch this dial I'm gonna click this here the attack has changed quite a bit now we get more abrupt attack one more change Let's change the dial on the Bernoulli gate. I love using these to control how often a voice randomly appears or not. So this one is hooked to the gate on that ADSR. Let me touch another dial here. Click this. Not very frequent. A little bit more frequent. That works pretty well. Now it's time to hook our little keyboard to this patch. first thing we need will be the CV MIDI or the notes from the keyboard. Let's select that. MIDI CV. Uh, there you go. Let's move it over here. We patch the VAct into the octave controller from Fundamental. We'll patch the gate to the gate of our FM op. As you can see, the octave goes to the FM op, which goes to the filter, which in turn goes all the way up to our mixer. 
Now we have to connect again to Touch OSC Bridge. And we may have already done enough to make noise. All right. The next thing we want to do is connect the octave. Let's get mapping. Let's touch the octave. Let's touch the octave control. Very good. Now, if we want to control velocity, lots of ways to do that. But I'll, I'll take a, a simple approach and just control the drive on our filter. We can hit mapping here, hit velocity, the velocity fader, and hit the drive. Move that up. All right, we've done it. And that's all we need to do to hook this little interface between BCB and Touch OSC. I hope you like this. I hope you can find it useful. I'm Cyball. Have a good day. Fun day. Bye.